Have you got shingles and looking for a treatment? In today's episode, we're gonna talk about all the best shingles treatments and the treatments you need to avoid. For more information about what shingles is and the symptoms, you can watch my other video. Now let's get into the treatments. The treatments are broken down into which stage of the shingles you're in. As soon as you suspect shingles, see the doctor straight away. They can prescribe antiviral medications such as acyclovir, valacyclovir and famcyclovir. These can help to reduce the duration of the shingles, but most importantly, lower the risk of complications. This is particularly important if the shingles is on your face. Antiviral medications need to be started as soon as possible, ideally within 72 hours after the onset of symptoms. Once the shingles rash has come up, treatment is more focused on reducing the itchiness and pain of the rash and reducing the spread to other people. I'm going to give you seven treatment tips you can use. Number one, painkillers. For pain from a shingles rash, you can take oral painkillers such as paracetamol or oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen, aspirin, diclofenac or naproxen. Number two, antihistamines. If you've got a lot of itchiness, oral antihistamines such as cetirizine, fexofenadine or liratidine, to name a few, can help to reduce the itchiness. If the itchiness is really bad at night, ask your pharmacist for a drowsy antihistamine as this can help you to sleep. Number three, hydrogels. For the itchiness, if you want to apply something to the skin, try a hydrogel such as solicite or solugel. These can help to cool and soothe the rash. A good tip is to keep this in the refrigerator. This will make the gel cold and help to soothe the rash even more. Number four, oatmeal baths. To make your own bath, you can add half to one and a half cups of colloidal oatmeal to cool or lukewarm water in a bath. Alternatively, you can purchase some colloidal oatmeal bath products from the pharmacy. Colloidal oatmeal is a really good natural way to help relieve the itchiness. Number five, cold compresses. Run a cloth under cool water and place it on your shingles area for up to 20 minutes. Repeat this multiple times a day as often as you need. This can help to soothe the itchiness and pain and also can help to keep the area clean. Number six, pine tar products. These are available in bath oils, shower gels and soaps. They help to reduce the inflammation and itchiness in the area. The downside is there is usually a very distinct smell to these which may not be that pleasant. Number seven, dressings. Keep the area covered to reduce the spread to others. Dressings can also help to reduce the pain you get when the rash rubs onto your clothes. Now it's really important to use a non-stick dressing so the dressing doesn't disrupt the blisters. I recommend applying some hydrogel to the shingles rash and and then covering it with a dressing. And be sure to always wash your hands afterwards to help prevent spreading the virus. Once the rash has cleared, you're often left with nerve pain in the area. There are two over-the-counter treatments I recommend. One is lidocaine or lidocaine patches. Lidocaine is a local anesthetic that can help to reduce nerve pain. It should be applied for 12 hours a day. You may get some immediate relief, but it can take between two to four weeks to get the best effect. Number two is capsaicin cream. Capsaicin is derived from hot chili peppers. Now there is limited evidence behind this cream at the concentrations found over the counter. But anecdotally, I've had some really good feedback with patients for using this cream for shingles pain. Capsaicin cream acts on a substance in the body called substance P. Substance P is involved in the transmission of pain impulses from the nerve endings in the skin to the brain. Capsaicin also works by irritating the area to cause a burning sensation, which can also help to reduce nerve pain. If these over-the-counter treatments don't work, then speak to your doctor for prescription options. There are numerous oral prescription medications that can help to reduce the nerve pain. Some examples include pregabalin, gabapentin, and antidepressants such as amitriptyline and duloxetine. Avoid calamine lotion. Now traditionally this has been used to soothe the area, however it can dry out the skin and cause further itchiness. If you do want to use it, make sure not to leave it on for too long. Number two, avoid touching the blisters. Make sure you don't touch the blisters as this can spread the virus. It's particularly important to cover the blisters if you're around pregnant women, babies and people with a weakened immune system. It's even better if you can avoid being around them while you've got an active shingles rash. Always wash your hands after you've touched the blisters. Then once the final blister has scabbed over, then you're no longer contagious. So that comes to the end of our video. If you found anything in this video useful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.